Mercedes have massively shifted their focus on the upcoming season in 2024, and it seems like the W15 is slowly but surely getting its shape and form. With all of the issues that Hamilton and Russell had to put up with in the previous two years, Mercedes has a massive amount of work to do back in Brackley. And in order to assure that everything is going under protocol and that Mercedes engineers are doing exactly what they need to be doing, Hamilton has visited the factory on a couple of occasions. Is 2024 finally the year that we're going to see them fight up front? And if so, will we see a proper rematch for the 2021 controversial finale? If there's one thing that Mercedes has struggled with the most in the past couple of years, it's the stability of the car. And these are not our words, it's something that Andrew Shovlin has recently admitted in an interview. They've implemented a bold strategy and changed the concept of the car in the middle of the season, which is not only taking a massive toll on the technical team and the engineers, but also on the budget cap. Furthermore, implementing a new concept and believing that you'll be competitive right away just doesn't add up. And as we've witnessed with Red Bull, that even in times of their complete domination and winning races with 30 seconds of margin, they still found more performance out of the RB19, even if it is very small margins. Mercedes were not immune to this phenomenon as well. And while the new concept has proven to be a better one compared to the no pod side pod design of the W13 and to the pre-vamped W14, this is still nothing that the Brackley-based team will cling on to for times to come. Andrew Shovlin was open about the direction in which Mercedes is moving, hinting new detail about the W15 and admitting there'll be lots of new parts that will be put onto the new Challenger and likely make it a competitive piece of engineering marvel. When talking about it, the trackside engineer of Mercedes said, Lewis and George together are always giving us feedback on where the weakness is and whilst they might be identifying different causes of it, we know that fundamentally the car doesn't have enough stability. We know that they don't have the confidence to just throw it into a high speed corner and not have some concern that the rear is going to slide more than they want and be a bit of a challenge. And we're certainly not clinging on to any concepts that we've had before. We're very open minded. We've had a pretty chastening couple of years and we're a team that's working very hard to try and get back to the front. Obviously the implementation of downforce to the car is something that the team has struggled a lot with, not because they weren't able to do it, but the fact that they weren't able to do it in a proper manner. Whenever they tried to apply more downforce to the car, it seemed to act strange and started to bounce even more due to the team not being able to realise how to properly fix the porpoising phenomenon. Be that as it may, this might be a thing in the past with the W15, and when talking about this, Shovlin continued to elaborate, we are changing the car quite considerably for next year, but whether or not we can solve all the issues that we've got on the handling, that will depend on a number of projects delivering. Those projects are underway and they're not complete. We've got some good directions to try and improve that. The car will be different. We've made a lot of changes to it, but it's very early in the development of a new car to be able to say, we've got it sorted. One thing that Mercedes is specifically going to look into is the development of their previous cars, especially the ones in 2015 and 2019, mostly because they had no idea that these cars would turn out as dominant as they did. Shovlin did admit that on the majority of the cars that were produced in the past, the team missed quite a chunk in terms of performance. But due to their dominance from the previous years and the ability to work on the car for the upcoming campaign much earlier than anyone else, they were quite hard to get caught in the Constructors' Championship, resulting in eight consecutive championships in this category. While this seems to be quite far of a mission right now, the W15 has started to deliver early promises and Lewis Hamilton as well as George Russell seem to be on hand on everything that's happening back in Brackley. Andrew Shovlin admitted that the feedback he's receiving from the drivers is massive and while they were criticised from some F1 experts for being too involved in the process and not letting the engineers do what they do best, that's the way that Mercedes has gone. This is something that has the potential to change the outcome of the upcoming seasons before 2026.
Lewis Hamilton has urged his team to follow the rivals that have proved to everyone that performance can be found in these regulations, even though they're vastly limited from a technical point of view. And the best team that Mercedes needs to look at for the W15's development is McLaren. Their customer company went from finishing P17 and DNFing in the first race to having a double podium finish in Suzuka and is now arguably the second fastest team, thanks to a philosophy that Hamilton believes should be implemented on the W15 as well. When talking about it, the seven-time world champion said, I know what the problem with the W14 is. It's just getting the guys to make the changes. I try to argue my point, but it's not my job to design the car. I am hopeful they do the job, but it's going to take real changes real quick. I don't want to chase after the others again next season. I don't want to play Hunter for another year. His teammate George Russell didn't remain immune to these talks either and when elaborating on what Mercedes is currently working on for the W15, the younger Brit said, I think we're working really hard on the characteristics for next year. We're looking a lot at how the previous generations of cars were for Mercedes during the glory years and using them as a bit of inspiration as clearly that was one of the best cars in history. The next season is going to be detrimental for Mercedes and the development path that they've taken with the W15, but it seems like all of their issues are now resolved and all they need to do is put the puzzle together and finally compete for wins and championships. Damon Hill has spoken about this matter as well and the 1996 world champion believes that Mercedes is preparing something huge for 2024, something that has the potential to dethrone Verstappen and Red Bull on the same surprising matter that Red Bull and Verstappen did in 2021, or at least level up to the point of making the season a lot more interesting to watch. The changes coming to the car are from a fundamental nature, as labelled by Shovlin and Hill as well. And when talking about it, Toto Wolff couldn't have hidden his excitement. As he said, the direction our team is developing is really quite interesting. We see opportunities and we are not shying away from anything. We are leaving no stone unturned and looking at every single concept that we've seen on other cars. That is whether that's powerful or not and whether it's of any use for us. Without letting ourselves be distracted from the way we operate and the way we analyse, we are going to come up good. Every Formula One fan hopes that the issues of Mercedes are sorted out and that there won't be any need for the FIA to intervene with yet another technical shake-up in order to make the grid more interesting, as Wolf himself has said that this is not the way they want to be back on top and that they're not going to constantly ask for regulation changes, even though Hamilton did require the governing body to not allow teams to work on the cars for the upcoming season prematurely. The real question that is probably bugging Mercedes right now is whether or not they could keep the harmony between their drivers alive. More precisely, whether or not both of them can collaborate for the greater good of the team after what we've seen in Suzuka. There is no doubt that once Mercedes is capable of winning championships, Russell and Hamilton's rivalry could easily turn into something we've watched in 2016 between the Brit and Rosberg. But that could be the only way that Mercedes will find out who is made of what and whether the future future is now or Hamilton still has it in himself to win the eighth record-breaking championship title.